One of the most interesting things that I have learned from talking to people about their goals and dreams and aspirations is that most people don't realize how much potential they have. And I think that's normal. I think we as humans look at other people and we see potential in them. I know when I see students who are studying mathematics, I see people who are brilliant. They are so intelligent and they have no idea how good they are. People have all kinds of talents and all kinds of skills. The trick is to unlock those skills. In this video, I'm gonna give you the key in the form of a five-step process that you can follow in order to accomplish anything. I am the Math Sorcerer, welcome to my channel. If you're not a subscriber, consider subscribing. I never ask, but I thought I would do it this one time in this video. You want to have clear-cut goals. Defining your goals is super important. More than that, you want to have an end goal. What is your overall goal? What are you trying to accomplish? Maybe you're trying to get an A in a class. Maybe you're trying to get a new job. Whatever it is you're trying to accomplish, that is your long-term goal, your end goal. Then you need intermediate goals, goals that you want to reach along the way. It's really important when you're defining your plan that you have those intermediate goals because those are going to keep you motivated. If you just have this one big long-term goal that's lofty and you don't really have like little goals to help you get there, you're never going to get there. It is super important to write everything down and have a clear-cut plan. Let's use mathematics for the sake of a simple example. Let's say you have an exam in two weeks. A simple goal would be, hey, I want to get an A on the exam. The intermediate goals could be to study for 30 minutes a day for the first week and then an hour a day for the second week. You would be surprised at how much you can actually learn in just 14 days. It is incredible how much mathematics you can learn if you do math every single day. So once you have your goals and you have your intermediate goals, you need to actually break it down a little bit further. You need what's called short-term goals. So your short-term goals are things that you're going to do on a daily basis. For example, let's say today is Tuesday and you wake up and you're supposed to study for 30 minutes today. You need to make sure you do it. It is extremely important to stick to your plan. If you don't stick to your plan and you fail, you won't know if your plan was a good one. If you stick to your plan and you fail, then you know you need to go back and revise your plan. Failure is part of the process, but if you follow these steps, you will be able to accomplish your goals. Taking action is extremely important and is one of the hardest things for people to do. There used to be this old slogan, and I'm sure it still exists. It was by Nike. It was just do it, and it's a great slogan because sometimes that's what you have to do. You just need to do it. If you wake up today and you're supposed to apply for three jobs, just do it. Sit down, start filling out those applications, do it. If you need to study mathematics, sit down and just do it. Taking action is key. If you don't take action, you are not going to get anywhere. A lot of people are really, really good at creating a plan and setting goals, but they lack in the action department. And the reason they lack is because they overthink it. In their minds, they're thinking, oh, maybe I should do this instead. For example, maybe you're trying to study for two different classes and you can't decide which class to study for. So you're stuck in this limbo of indecisiveness and inaction. Pick one and go with it. You have to just do it. Something that can really help you take action and accomplish your short-term goals is being aware of how short-term they are. If you're only supposed to work on something for an hour today, realize it's only an hour of your life, and then you have that big picture goal in your mind to motivate you. Only an hour today, but then I'm gonna end up you know, getting that job, or I'm gonna end up you know, getting that A. Whatever it is you're trying to accomplish, it's those little incremental steps that you take every day it's those actionable moments that you take every day to accomplish those short-term goals, which leads to 
Conquering your long-term goal. Tracking your progress is a very useful activity. My recommendation is to use a spreadsheet and set it up with dates and you have your little short-term goals and just put a little X next to it once you accomplish your goal. You can be more specific and you can put in like the times that you study every day. So maybe today you study 30 minutes, tomorrow you do 35, the next day you only do 28. So you're averaging, you know, you're somewhere near 30 minutes a day and that's pretty good. Looking back on your progress is a good motivator. You can see what you've done. You know, after five days of working on your goal, you can look back and you can say, hey, look at everything I've accomplished. This is really good. So you can feel good about what you've done. Even though you haven't reached your long-term goal, you can celebrate those little victories, those little short-term goals and those intermediate goals. You want to celebrate your success because it's going to keep you motivated and it's going to get you to that long-term goal, which you're trying to accomplish. Staying motivated is one of the most challenging things to do when you're trying to go through this process. And the secret is to look back on your longer term goal and use that as a source of inspiration. You know, if you want to get an A in that class or you want to find a job, keep that in your back of your mind, right? Keep your eyes on the prize. Then by tracking your progress, you can go back and you can celebrate those victories and that will motivate you. You can say, hey, look what I did for three days in a row. I studied one hour a day and look how much better I am at mathematics. Look at what I've accomplished. Look at how far I've come. That reflection is going to motivate you drastically. So those are five steps that you can follow in order to accomplish anything, whatever it is you're trying to do. If you follow this basic outline, you're going to be able to get there and it's going to help you get there a lot quicker. It's really important to have that clear defined goal at the beginning. I can't emphasize that enough. Then you want to break it down into smaller pieces. You want to define those really short-term goals. What are you going to be doing on a daily basis in order to accomplish your goals? Then take action. Taking action is huge. It is so important to take action. And then after you take action and you accomplish your goals, track your progress. That does a bunch of stuff for you. One, it lets you know that you're sticking to your plan. So if your plan works, you can call it a successful plan. If your plan fails, you know that you can go back and revise those intermediate steps so that hopefully you can reach your long-term goal more effectively. And lastly, remember to stay motivated, right? Having that big picture goal in front of you is a big motivator, especially when you're in the trenches and you know, you're on day four and you're studying and you're just trying to learn and you can't, you need that longer term goal. Keep your eyes on the prize. That's going to keep you motivated and it will help you accomplish anything. Remember, most people don't realize the potential that they have. I have had conversations with dozens of people about their dreams, about their goals, about their life aspirations, everything. And the common denominator in all of these conversations is that the person has so much potential and they don't realize it. And I feel like we're all the same. It's normal. How are we supposed to know what we're capable of if we haven't accomplished it or someone hasn't told us that we're capable of it? Hopefully after watching this video, you feel like you can do anything because I really believe you can. Most people are much smarter than they think they are. Do you have any advice for people watching this video? If you do, please leave a comment below. People read the comments, they reply to the comments, I read the comments, it really helps other people. When you leave positive feedback, when you leave constructive comments, study tips, things that have helped you accomplish your goals, it helps other people because they're reading those comments and they're also trying to accomplish their goals and better their life. So go out there and accomplish your goals and have a great life. Good luck.